I literally dig through the garbage sometimes to find craft supplies. I can't tell you how many times I threw toilet paper in the garbage only to go back and think, oh wait, that's not garbage. And today, after a few weeks of collecting toilet paper rolls, I finally have enough for my crafting experiments. And with the amount of techniques I will show you today, you will never look at a toilet paper roll the same again. For the first technique, I cut my toilet paper rolls into strips. The scissors squish the roll so they look like petals. I use a glue gun and glue them to create a very cool flower-shaped stencil. I also create another stencil with the petal shapes. This time I arrange them in a grid-like manner. This white roll is thinner, so it squishes more than the brown one. So when I cut the brown roll, the circle shape remains intact. You can also create a circle-shaped flower or a stencil like I'm doing here by gluing them like a circle grid. Then I test them on a blank piece of paper with some sprays. They create the most amazing texture and design. But soon you will see how I'll use them in another innovative way. For my second technique, I take some craft foam and cut it into small triangles. Then using my glue gun, I glue them around the paper roll. You can cut the foam into any shape and create these really neat texture rollers. I also glue some bubble wrap around the roll for another cool texture tool. Then, while holding the glue gun in my hand, I realize that I can make designs with the actual glue gun on the roll. So I create random glue swirls around the first roll and lines for the next roll. I take my 8x10 gel plate because I want to try all these tools and start rolling my first color. Remember the flower stencil that I created at the beginning? I pressed it onto the paint first to create markings. Then I place a blank paper on top and pull my first print. And it's gorgeous. I'm actually in love. I try it again with the circle stencil by brayering a new color and add a new paper on top. I don't want to layer these designs as I want to show you how each texture looks separately. I tried with the last stencil and love the texture it creates as well. Now I can try it with the rollers. I add a new layer of paint and roll the triangle texture across one side of my gel plate and the bubble wrap roller on the other side. I used the previous paper as it didn't get fully covered and pull the print. You can see the design but it's too light because I use yellow paint. So I decide to apply the triangle one again to see how it looks with darker paint. And I love the texture, as it looks like broken glass. Then I brayer some blue, and I try the other two rollers with the glue gun design for another cool texture. Now let me show you my most favorite technique, which I will maximize in two different ways. First, I take my paper roll and cut strips along one side of the roll and bend them flat by pushing them on my table. I cut a second roll with shorter strips as well and do the same thing. I start by rolling dark green paint onto a piece of acetate and dip the first roll into the paint. I then tap and spin it onto my blank paper. It creates really cool dandelion looking flowers. I have so much green left that I decide to roll it onto my gel plate and using the same technique create a few different flowers on my plate. Then, I place my paper on the plate and pull the print. I just love the design, but I'm not done yet. I take the second roll with the shorter strips and dip it into lighter yellowish green paint. I tap and spin the roll over the large green flower in the same manner I did with the dark green. Now using the leftover lime color, I roll paint onto the plate and using the smaller roll, create the same type of markings again. This time I place my original larger flower print over this print and pull. It creates a double layered flower print. And I even have enough to pull a second yellow flower print as well. Now I can continue to work on my dandelion painting because I want to frame it and give it to a friend who loves dandelions. But the painting needs more flowers and they need to be smaller. So to make a smaller flower, I cut two rolls with smaller strips as it decreases the diameter of the flower. I use the eraser from the back of a pencil and create little dots in the center of the flower. Then I cut one of the paper rolls and dip the cut edges into my green paint. 
I press it under the flower and it creates really cool flower stems. But that's not all. I actually use the roll for two more parts of the painting. First, I get the idea to cut one more petal shape from the toilet paper roll and stamp with it to create leaf markings around the stems. Notice I created a third flower because the composition looks better with three. Then I cut one of the rolls with the strips down the middle and open it up. I dip it into the paint and create grass markings at the bottom of the page. I can't believe I created a whole painting just with toilet paper rolls and paint. I love creating with things from around the house or that otherwise would go in the trash. And what I use in this video right here will utterly amaze you. A tool for my kitchen that I almost threw out because I thought I would never use it.